NATO needs additional 35 to 50 brigades to implement its new plan to defend itself against Russian attacks, Reuters has reported with reference to an unnamed military source. According to the source, creating up to 50 brigades is quite challenging, considering the fact that a brigade consists of 3,000 to 7,000 soldiers. It is unclear from where NATO allies might draw the additional personnel for 35 to 50 brigades. NATO's new defense plan is the alliance's first major defense plan in the past 30 years, with officials trying to translate the agreement into concrete military demands. NATO leaders are expected to make new decisions in Washington this week, at a summit to mark the 75th anniversary of the Transatlantic Security Alliance. Commenting on the defense plant, a NATO representative said that the alliance's military planners had identified detailed requirements for troops and weapons needed for the defense of the alliance. Air and anti-missile defense, long-range weapons, logistics, as well as large-scale ground military formations are among our main priorities. As we develop the forces and capabilities that can implement our plans and respond to the threats we face, NATO will set even greater goals for its allies. We are confident that our deterrence is and will remain strong, the NATO official said. Короче, сушильный цех горит нам. Strikes of Ukrainian army on Russian territory could disrupt the occupation army's offensive. ISW, the Ukrainian armed forces will be able to disrupt large-scale offensive operations by the occupiers if Ukraine's Western allies allow them to strike targets on Russian territory. This is stated in the report of the Institute for the Study of War. As an example, analysts cite the strikes of the Ukrainian armed forces at the end of June. Then, according to satellite images, Ukrainian troops successfully attacked the command post of a Russian regiment in the Belgorod region, probably using foreign weapons. The location of the facility near the front line and less than a kilometer from the border suggests that it played a role in Russian operations in the Kharkiv region. At the same time, recent satellite images show significant damage to the building. According to the Institute's analysts, the Ukrainian armed forces attacked the facility with a French precision bomb, the armament Airsol modulaire hammer. This confirms the fact that Ukraine can disrupt Russian offensive operations if Western countries continue to lift restrictions on the use of their weapons by the Ukrainian armed forces to strike military targets in Russia. Ukraine must be able to use weapons provided by the West, in particular ATACMS missiles, to strike Russian military targets in the operational rear and deep rear of the Russian Federation in order to significantly undermine enemy operations on a large scale, the experts conclude. As reported, more than 10 partner countries of Ukraine have granted permission to use their weapons on Russian territory. Among them are Canada, Germany, Finland, France and the United States. Defense News notes that the US's authorization to strike Russia has changed the war, but it is not enough. At the same time, the Americans themselves added that they would allow Ukraine to hit Russian positions at a greater distance if the occupation army tries to expand the front.